Hello and welcome back, Zevlin here. Let's play some more of our Nagara campaign in Europa Universalis 4. We're currently sieging the heck out of Baluchistan. I'm gonna just take a chunk of land from them. Mostly stuff in my main trade known. And very much considering moving south at this point. I need... It would be fighting the coalition which probably wouldn't be smart to do at the same time as Baluchistan, but may not be too big of a difficulty. Rus only has a 16k stack army here. I don't know if that's their entire army, but I should be able to use this 24 stack and be just fine against the whole coalition. And if not, I could always recall some troops. But I do want to fabricate a few claims first, so we'll see how it goes. Maybe just fine. Oh crap. So much money. Okay. Um, first, naval force limit is good. Um, do buildings. I wanted to build a dock here for the trade, mostly. I also, I guess I could build trading training fields everywhere. Build more temples. More temples. Though most of these are a ways off of being too good of places. They will slowly increase as their unrest goes down. Or autonomy goes down. Or marketplaces. Yeah, build one marketplace. A couple temples, one marketplace. Sounds good to me. Okay, Vassal, I gave you orders. Go follow them. Okay, never mind. Don't. feeling I'm going to be the one that has to attack them. I don't want that to be the case. I am still well under my force limit. And my manpower is just about capped. So maybe that's what I should be spending my money on. We'll wait till I have a little bit more money. Peace offer. No. Not gonna happen. Okay. Move forward this way. Make sure I have my leader up front. Well. There we go. Alright, I am gonna raise my maintenance at this point. And go in and attack him. My vassals aren't going to be bothered. So I'll let him attack me. That sounds perfectly fine. Wow. Look at that. Alright, well, let's detach a siege and move forward. Let's just go ahead and get you out of harm's way here. Stop soaking up so much attrition that I don't need to be taking. And look at them moving back. Moving back home. Yeah. No peace. Military tech? Yeah, sounds good. Get a little bit of infantry fire. Some extra combat width. New cavalry? Yeah, sounds awesome. Let's do that. Check out this new cavalry. believe I had Manzabdar cavalry. So I'm actually losing some shock, which is not good. One pip of shock spread out into extra offensive morale and offensive fire. 
probably evens out. A little bit of extra defensive shock. It doesn't really hurt. They don't take a whole lot of shock damage, though. It's the infantry that takes most of the damage. Yeah. It's probably better. Let's go ahead and take it. It says it's better. And actually, it's not as big of a spread anymore here, either. I'm used to having like a 1 to 4. It's 0. 0.5 to 2 is actually about the same as 1 to 4, isn't it? Whatever. <laughs> not going to worry about it too much. It's my cannons that are doing most of my damage anyway. So having my cavalry doing a little bit of morale damage is actually going to be pretty nice. Alright, I have a diplomat back. Done with claims on Marathus. Let's look at Orissa. I bet I can claim all sorts of stuff on you. Can I? Oh, I'm just looking right over it. Alright. What do I want the most from you? Probably... Golconda. Because I want to move south in general. And other than that, I'm not going to be able to take a whole lot more. Maybe making you release countries or something. Though I'm not sure what direction I'm going to take with that. But I don't need to fabricate claims on a bunch of their stuff just yet. Because I'm going to be mostly taking Marathas' stuff. Um... Disagreeing advisor? Yeah, I'm definitely going to be taking some extra free power. And keep converting things. Alright. Let's see, do I have a template set up? I do. Excellent, excellent. Let's go ahead and build one template. Oh crap, they moved south. Yeah, I'm gonna lose that battle. Well, that's no good. Oh well, at least I got my vassals off their ass. Let them go do something. And I have plenty of manpower to resupplement or re form up this army. So I'm not too concerned with that. Alright, move you down here move you out of getting attrition. Same with you guys. And I doubt I'll even need to siege this place. So let's go ahead. Well, I might actually because I can't get up here to siege their ally. And I doubt their ally is willing to get out of the war. But I have no way of knowing that yet because I don't have a diplomat available. So I'm going to have to wait anyway. And with that, I'm actually going to lower my maintenance. May as well lower it all the way. I'm not going to be fighting anytime soon. Ha! <laughs> Alright, that's done. And we'll just wait for my diplomat to come back in a couple months. Ah, crap. Speaking of not fighting anytime soon. Let's go ahead and move you down to West Barar while I'm waiting for my maintenance to get back up. And then it's kind of expensive maintenance there. What happened with that? Let's see, did I pick up a boat I didn't want? No, it's all light ships. Hmm. Alright. One more tick of maintenance. I'm not going to let it go all the way up. I don't think I need it. I have a decent leader. Yes. Ooh. Didn't like how fast my morale dipped there. Let's go ahead and split you in half. Actually, I'm going to be fighting down here very soon, so why would I go all the way back that way? I wouldn't. 
68%. Any shot you'd white piece. No. No shot at all. Call to war. Oh man, Mamlux, Morocco. Yeah, I'll accept. I doubt they'll get all the way over here. Ooh, who are you already fighting? All oh, the Ottomans are kicking your butt. Holy crap. The Ottomans re-annexed all this over here, too. Dang. I was really looking forward to having a weak Ottomans, but that's not going to happen. Alright. Should I go ahead and start this war now? I think so. I already have my maintenance raised. We go ahead and take care of their armies pretty fast. It's one less claim that I can fabricate on Orissa, but I'm not too worried about that. I do need to... Man, I need to knock them down a notch. They're getting big. They're getting too big too fast. Alright, my war goal will be... Pune. Mm, they have a couple. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to declare it this way. They have, they have weaker allies. Speaking of allies, though, Malabar, Karnak. So we'll be fighting these guys. It's not a big deal. Maybe I can grab a vassal out of one of these. Let's, let's make sure first. Who the hell's your other ally? Alright, so... Oh, these dudes? These dudes. And Orissa, of course. Whatever. Okay, fine. Um, what about you? What are your al What's your ally situation? Okay, so I could definitely declare you a co-belligerent. That's fine. Because I'm going to already be fighting the two people you're allied with. You would bring in Malabar, which I believe would be fine, though I wouldn't mind not having a truce with them, especially if I take Go. So maybe, I mean, I don't need to take two vassals in this war. That put me a little bit over my limit. Maybe I could vassalize these guys. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Alright, let's declare the war that way then. Let's declare the war and make Karnak Karnatic Karnatic Co-belligerent. Yes, that looks good. Looks good to me. All right, let's grab a leader for you. This guy will be fine. Let's march up this way with this army and go look for Orissa's army. Oh crap, they have freaking force march. Where the hell's Orissa's army? Ah, here we go. And I am still at war with Bolchistan, too. Hmm. I should probably piece that out. Any shot you white piece? No, not even close. Okay. I'm just gonna have to take what I can take. I don't want to wait for the five years of um, before I get 100% for occupying them. So let's see what I can get. Sort by diplomatic power costs. See if I can get all the things I can actually, and it's not that much war score. So there's no sense in me waiting. Definitely gonna take the money and war reparations. They'll absolutely accept that. <coughs> Should I take anything else?
I don't really want to pay the Diplo points for taking provinces outside of my trade node. That doesn't doesn't sound good to me. This put them under 100% though for vassalization. Got claims, get claims, get claims, of course. Concede defeat. Where's it vassalize? Yes, 92%. Okay, perfect. That's all I want. Great. Okay, uh, leaders harder to find. Lose army tradition. Mm, that's not good. Okay, well, let's go ahead and grab cores on the, all those things. And keep hunting down these armies. Go ahead and loot while I'm here. Why wouldn't I? I love looting. Damn it, don't stack wipe my vassal's army, you bastard. Alright, what next? Bahaminas. I think I need more. Data. <laughs> if I could get them to 190 someday, they would accept vassalization, but I think. I think not. Let me just go ahead and grab a claim from them, just to be safe. Ooh, they already broke the walls there. That's not good. That's okay. Go ahead and squish them. And go chase them down. Alright, another conversion. We're actually catching up on converting things. Not sure if that's good or not. What is going on here? My boats are winning more battles. That's good. Uh, struggle without, struggle within. I mean, just in general, I don't want to pay the 50 Diplo power, and I'm not hurting for manpower right now, though I say that if I keep frivolously spending it. I might have a problem. A lot of freaking little stacks of troops around. Maybe a little bit more difficult than I anticipated. Probably not too bad. I mean, I'm winning the battles fairly easily. It's just that I'm not stack wiping them. Uh, lose money for no apparent reason. Okay. Now let's move north. Grab this little thing, and then we'll chase that army. Actually, I'll chase them with this these guys. Where are you going? There we go. Stack wipe. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I don't need both of you. How about one of you stay behind? Let's take the one with the leader to stay behind, because none of these are really needing to be fought with any sort of caution. Uh, revolt. Crap. Speaking of caution and needing leaders and all that nonsense. Okay, well, there's no sense in sieging while I need to fight things. They're reforming their armies pretty fast anyway, so probably ought to be squishing. Ooh, speaking of not needing a leader, holy crap. That was kind of dumb. I didn't realize they had quite that many people. Um, I think I'll be fine without a leader here anyway. I should stack wipe it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, split. 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 I don't want to split any further than that, though. Go ahead and grab the coast. Grab the capital. That only leaves one province open. For them, anyway. Orissa could still do something. What should I do with you. Definitely go through there. Then maybe head north-ish to where they look like they may be gathering troops. Or not. Look. look at you gathering troops down here. 
crap, loans, no. Pretty soon I'll be able to lower my maintenance. They've got to be burning through their manpower pretty good. Alright. I do believe that means it's time to start splitting up. Alright, let's split in half, split in half again. Again, I'm not going to go too small. Because there's just too much land to cover. And that does seem kind of counterintuitive. But... If I don't get it all covered, they're going to be able to train troops. And then if I only have like two stacks everywhere, they're, they're going to kill me. So I need smaller or bigger stacks for protection until I can actually full occupy them. At which point I will spread as thin as I can. Alright, you need split and split. Split. We'll send you north-ish, so I will actually split the six stack up as well. Alright, leave one here. There we go. Spread out along the coast. Get those started. Those take longer, so I don't want to wait. Don't want to wait on those. I want to get them going. We're pretty much just waiting on sieges and kind of keeping an eye on their little tiny stacks. Make sure they don't coalesce into something just a little bit more scary. Hopefully some of these sieges go by at a relatively good speed. Did they really just come up and take this battle? They have heavies, which is not good. Ooh, did I just run away? Yes, I did. Okay, I'm going to say that's fine. But I am going to move to somewhere where there's a dock. Prepare a little faster. Alright, I'm just going to go and... Set it back to the protecting trade. I believe I did actually lose a few light ships in that... As well, so... Yeah, I can build... Actually, I can build... Four more, and my template's five. I'm just going to go ahead and build five. I'm taking coastal provinces here anyway. So that shouldn't be a problem. Ooh, sieges are finishing already. Yeah, see, they have five stack up here. They have more guys moving this way, so... I am going to have to be a little careful. Ooh, and they have... I f actually, I forgot about these guys down here. No, do not move in there. Go this way. You, can you grab a leader? You cannot. Oh well. Seven, 17 stack will come save me, and thankfully they finish their siege in time. Speaking of sieging, I need to go siege these guys so I can vassalize them. Oh, wait, where was that? Crap, I lost more battles. Really against those three heavies. Okay. I need you to stop losing so many troops. Or ships. I can just... I can wait. You could have naval superiority. That's fine. Alright. More sieges finishing. Suppose I ought to be moving south and forcing these guys out, but... Yeah, this will be fine. I think I'm doing it the right way. Because Orissa is so big, it's going to take me a while to siege them up. Don't really have much sense in forcing Madari out. Um, but I do want to vassalize Karnak. Karnatic, or whatever it is. Another conversion done. Excellent. Okay. Oh, crap. Get in there. Um, actually, they'll be fine. Oh, are 
Are you gonna stay there? Are you moving? Alright. Go ahead and wipe out their forces. Um. Yeah, that'll probably be fine. I will definitely lose the prestige. Another siege done. Good, good. Okay, what's going on with Arissa? Are they building up another group? They kind of are. Not really ideal. Can I snag a leader? No. More siege is done. Good. And more sieges. Good, good, good. Alright. Now get over here to the coast. Get those done for sure. Okay, well, it's time for me to take a break. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.